what's going on guys welcome back to this youtube channel today in this video we are going to do something really very interesting we are going to use two ai tools that are popular these days the first one is the chat gpt and the second one is mid journey chat gpt takes in text inputs and gives you back the text outputs you might have already heard about it it's going on in the news for quite a while now and the second one is the mid journey which takes in uh, text prompts and it creates or generates images like these so you can see people have been generating all these images with a mid journey so what we want to do in this video today is we want to put the imagination of chat gpt on test so so what i really want to do in this video is i want chat gpt to generate some uh, text prompts for me that i can use in mid journey so really we are going to test the imagination of chat gpt in this video so let's see how cool of a mid journey art chat gpt can produce so let's begin the first thing that i will do is i'll ask chat gpt do you know what text prompts are okay it says yes text prompts are a set of instructions or a statement that is used to elicit a response or a piece of text from a user or a language model like me so it looks like it knows what a text prompt is so now let's just uh, paste this thing uh, which says okay so there is another ai like you called mid journey where you give text prompts based on uh, our image imagination and it creates images out of those prompts the way we describe the image is we use the text tokens separated by commas uh, can you generate such prompt for me so yeah it's a simple prompt for chat gpt let's see what it says and it says yes i can generate text prompts for an ai model like mid journey that creates images from text prompts so sounds like that we are good to go but uh before moving any further let's go back to the community feed of uh, mid journey let's copy some uh of the prompts that users have given to mid journey so i'll copy the uh, let's copy the full command and let's go back to chat gpt and paste it in here uh, actually i don't like this one let's just get rid of this let's go back to mid journey let's copy the uh, full command of this one and paste it in chat so here i can say so i can say here is an example so it's already giving me some uh, other uh, text prompts based on the example that i provided to it but uh, i'm not going to take these because i'm going to edit it a few more so let's see Okay, let's take a prompt from this one as well. Full command, go back to chat GPT and say, here is another example. And let's go back to mid journey's community feed and let's find some more images, this time something different. Oh, I'll copy paste few more uh, commands. so i think i have given it enough examples and as you can see it's telling me that sure based on the examples you provided here are a few text prompts that i came up with so it's giving me some examples of really good looking text prompts that i can use uh, but if you notice it's also telling me that please note that these prompts are just examples and you can change the elements or details according to your references also this kind of prompt may work for mid journey or any other ai that's trained to generate images from the text prompts but it's not guaranteed that it will work with every ai so yeah fair enough now now let's ask it to give me give me a very creative text prompt key based on all the examples i provided to you earlier okay sure based on all the examples you provided is an a creative text prompt okay that looks good to me a mystical underwater kingdom ruled by an okay let's just copy this okay, it's putting in a lots of things in there Let's just copy it. Go back to mid journey. Here is the mid journey. So the first thing I'll do is I'll say fast. It's just the command that makes uh, mid journey to render images fast. And then I'll say imagine and paste in the command and I'll say that as before. Let's see what we get. So as you can see, the images are being generated. let's see what we got wow look at these so yeah it totally looks like an alien planet uh yeah yeah so far really cool i like what we are getting back so yeah, yeah. let's go back and say okay give me some other text from post apocalyptic world ruled by giant giant robots featuring a desolate city with crumbling buildings and overgrown vegetation okay that sounds cool let's just copy it and let's go back and let's say slash imagine paste in the command say dash dash v4 and this time i want aspect ratio to be two is to three let's see what it
let's open the images let's see okay this one is really cool i really like it look at that <laughs> look at this thing yeah this is really cool yeah so far very impressive jrgpt let's see what else we have okay an outer space scene uh, i don't want oil painting so let's just skip that let's just copy it and let's just paste it right here so let's say imagine and give it dash v4 dash dash ar freeze to wow just wow look at these renders look at this one. Oh man this is what i really like these ones i mean they look pretty amazing nice nice job chat gpt yeah i think yeah better than what i thought let's try something else let's copy this one okay it's always giving me an oil painting but i don't want that so let's say slash imagine paste in the command dash dash v4 dash dash ar yeah, this time as well, three to two. So yeah, ChatGPT is doing really, really good job. Wow, look at these renders. Look at these images. I mean, but <laughs> I don't understand this thing. Is this guy riding a car like a horse? <laughs> or, or is it some futuristic kind of bike? Just like we have in the Batman. Uh, it's too broad for a bike. I don't know what happened there. But it looks cool. They all look cool. Yeah, let's try something else. Okay, give me some prompts of realistic scenarios. Okay, now we are getting a portrait of Doctor wearing a PPE gear and a face shield with stethoscope around his neck. Standing in front of a hospital, the painting style is inspired by photorealism with a high level of detail. The image is captured in a close-up shot of Doctor's face. Okay, let's just copy this. Say imagine paste in the command dash dash v4 dash dash ar3 is to do. Wow, look at these look at these renders. I mean okay the nose is uh, on top of the mask that's not a good thing but it's doing a pretty good job look at this mask look at the face i think this one is the best among these four or maybe this one uh, but it's doing pretty good job it's more of a mid-journey thing that this nose is coming on top of a mask but chat gpt has i think described it pretty well what it wants and mid-journey is giving it what it is thinking okay let's take this one now paste in the commands it has dash before dash dash ar three two Okay, this time the renders are loading and it's a landscape of a farm with tractors, cows, a barn with a clear blue sky in the background. Let's see. Wow, this looks really, it looks pretty. But it kind of looks like a painting. So maybe that's because we are adding this keyword in here, painting style. Let's just get rid of this. Okay. So let's just get rid of this painting style. And let's run it again. All right, the renders are complete. Let's see this time. Okay, this time it looks more realistic than a painting. <laughs> but the, uh, the cow is too much stretched out. You can see it here. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not pretty sure is this a goat or an alien. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's still uh, I'm mind blown by all these images that this mid journey AI is capable of producing. Just look at these things. And uh, yeah, I think this is pretty much it uh, we saw what uh, chat gpt can produce within mid journey so it gave us some really cool text prompts we can go ahead and uh, try to kind of tune these uh, tune few things here and there so that chat gpt is able to produce much better prompts but yeah you get the idea that if we try to generate some prompts with chat gpt we will be uh, successfully able to do that and we can generate some really good looking renders in mid journey so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it keeps me motivated and yeah i really appreciate that and i'll see you in the next one until then peace out